Hi there. Today I have something really special for you. Um, a Seiko special edition. And this is the SPB 107 Prospects Limited Edition Diver. Um, the standard version here is also well known as Marine Master 200, uh, which is available in a stainless steel housing uh, with blue, black basil, um, or Pepsi basil. Um, but this one here is the limited edition brought to you by Topper Fine Jewelers um, from the US. And um, they are doing a lot of corporations, a lot of limited editions with different brands. And that was also the case here with that Seiko Diver. All right, I think most of the specs are all already well known um, since it's not a complete new watch. Nevertheless, that shares some of the details. So we have caliber 6R15. It's a mechanical watch for sure. It's automatic hand winding as possible. Accuracy um, as claimed by Seiko is minus 15 plus 25 seconds a day. Um, yeah, we'll give you some further information later on. So I get complete different numbers, uh, but um, later on more. Power reserve is up to 50 hours. Um, this is a PVD coated stainless steel housing. Um, the bezel is also coated. Um, we have a sapphire class. So this one has not a hard legs class um, with an anti-miro tr um, treatment. Mm, something else to mention. We have a very potent Lumipride here, which I will also show you um, later on. The whole thing comes on a silicon strap, um, which is quite comfortable, especially in comparison to the entry-level Seikos like the SKX-007. Dimensions, uh, height is 13.1 millimeter and the watch has a diameter of 44 millimeters. Um, actually, it wears much smaller than the numbers um, make you think so it's a quite comfortable watch it works uh, very quite small maybe it has to do with the shape of the case maybe it's also in addition that it's black um, yeah the crown is a screwed down crown for sure um, you can dive up to 200 meters um, and the crown ah, the crown the the basil is unidirectional and for Seiko basil it's quite quite smooth as you can hear. So on this watch I have absolutely no alignment issues which is um, in our days unfortunately not always the case with Seiko. But coming back to why we have here a limited edition and what makes it a limited edition. So I already mentioned the black coating. Um, the date wheel here is also black. So with the standard ones, it's white or, or gray. Um, so that's a major difference. And you can also see here the tip of the second hand, which has that very bright, shiny orange color to it. Uh, which is a fantastic design decision from my perspective. Really, really nice um, upgrade on the standard versions. So this is how it looks from the profile and on the back side, oh, let me turn that. Um, it says Divers Watch 200 meters Seiko. We have that dive logo, the wave here it says limited edition and 
not as with all the other Seiko limited editions we really have here just 500 pieces and I have um, the number 296 um, out of 500. Um, so that was a cooperation of Seiko Japan, Seiko USA and um, the topper guys. The watch actually is made in Japan. Uh, pricing um, was 1000 US. Um, disadvantage here that watch was not officially sold outside of the US. So um, that's one of the downsides. If you do not live in, in the US, you had no chance to get it officially. Um, but due to eBay and, and other options, there is a chance still today. But then you have to pay between 1,500 and 2,000 US. Um, all right, so what you can also see, even the, the keeper here and, and the buckle is coated, um, matching to the rest of, of the watch. Um, let me put it on my wrist, just a second. Here we go again. So this is how it looks on the wrist. It's very comfortable. Um, and legible, so it's so easy to read the time over here. Um, the hands um, make it really easy, um, much better than with other Seiko watches. Um, at the beginning, I mentioned, um, or we talked about the accuracy of of that watch, and I did some measurements, and I have plus one point seven seconds a day which is amazing so that's on par with with um, rolex chronometers it's it's really really good i'm not sure if this is due to the fact that it's a um, topper limited edition and they did some um, adjustments to it but that's really um, the best seiko i ever had with regard to accuracy so that's really amazing the watch is made in Japan, which I really prefer. I like this Japanese spirit um, yeah, and just wanted to share with you some, some pictures and some, some video clips so that you get an idea on how this watch looks on the wrist, how it, yeah, how it behaves. It's, it's really it's it's a stunner. It's a stunner, and the pictures in, in the internet they really do not justice to how amazing this thing looks like. Um, I'm really a fan of the the crown on the fourth uh, four o'clock position. Um, that's also much more comfortable, and the crown uh, will not stick to to your hand. It will do. It will not hurt or squeeze any tissue. So. That's really amazing. I think the basil itself is just a aluminum basil, which is um, painted, I guess. Um, so it's definitely no ceramic um, and no liquid metal for sure. Um, but it's really shiny, glossy and um, fun to read, fun to use. So I will come back to you in, in a second with some loom shots. So here we go. And you can see how bright the Seiko Lumi Pride is. It's really amazing. You can light up a complete room by using it. And it's much more potent than what I have seen on my other dive watches. It doesn't matter if we're talking about Blancpain, Rolex, Judo or what what else? So this is really amazing. So let's do a comparison. Um, here you see the Marine Master 200 in comparison to an XKX. Um, it looks almost identical size-wise, um, even though the, the figures claim something different. 
um, for sure build quality with the Marine Master 200 is much better than SKX but yeah there's also a significant price difference and to make the whole thing complete I also would like to share with you some side by side uh, with a turtle um, that's a made in Japan turtle which looks much more chunkier um, than the Marine Master 200 um, I think there are two reasons uh, size of the not size um, shape of the case and the color scheme those are the two major things that from my perspective have an impact on the appearance on the wrist and as you can see here also if you comp compare the the loom dots and um, the Lumi Pride applied to the watches on that Marine Master 200 um, there is much more loom material on it and this is also something then which you can see in the darkness all right um, I hope you enjoy the video so my intention was really to to give you an idea on how this watch looks like in nature because the press shots and the things you can find on on several um, accounts in the internet from my perspective they really do not justice so the video should help you to decide if you should go for it um, search it on on ebay um, pay a premium but it's really limited and I think you will have a lot of um, fun and you will enjoy it if you um, decide to go for one of these nice watches. Thank you very much, have a nice day and we will see us again, bye bye.